This YouTuber uploads the most outrageous and controversial videos I have ever seen. But of course it was not long until his reckless behaviour caught up to him. And I believe with the way he's going right now, it is only a matter of time before he is stopped forever. Alright guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Honestly, today's topic, <laughs> we're in for a bad boy video today, I'll let me tell you that. So there's this very large creator on YouTube with 7 million subscribers that goes by the name of Master Ugwe. Now I know you're thinking, Master Ugwe, the very wise, courageous, and curvy tortoise from Kung Fu Panda. Well, not quite. <laughs> this Master Ugwe, wise, no, stupid, yes. But of course, your opinions can differ from mine. I mean, unless this is wise, saying the N word 140,000 times. Oh, that's very wise, that is. I mean, I've never thought of anything more wise than saying a racial slur for 15 hours straight. I mean, that's, that's the pinnacle of wisdom. Now, at face value, you're going to look at that and think, wow, what on earth is this? Let me click on this and find out. Well done, you just lost. You've given him a view. He doesn't say the n-word in it. He says the word never. Never, 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 never. But Master Rugwe, he's gotten a lot of controversy recently. Obviously because of the kind of videos he uploads. I mean, it's mostly satire and mostly trying to troll people. However, that doesn't make it right. This guy literally released a music video, which was titled the following. Adolf Hitler is my n-word. Now, he didn't say Adolf Hitler is my never. No, he said the actual n-word. He... He did say it, so... And then his video got taken down by YouTube. And then he complained about it. That's like me booting my grandmother down the stairs and then complaining that I'm in handcuffs two hours later for attempted murder. Oh, officer, I did nothing wrong. All I did was steal an old lady's mobility scooter and trample hundreds of people. Why are you arresting me? Obviously, that's not a very good analogy, but still. <laughs> Point is, this guy's got in some serious controversy recently and he hasn't stopped tweeting about it. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at all this stuff and prepare yourselves and buckle yourselves in because it's pretty f***. Wild. Now you might be asking, how is this man even able to mass 7 million subscribers? Well, funny enough, he actually started off by posting YouTube shots about Master Ugwe. So this guy does a pretty good Master Ugwe impression. I'm sure you remember that scene from Kung Fu Panda when Master Ugwe was giving some wisdom to Poe, talking about how today's a gift, that's why it's called a present and all that bollocks. Well, he would basically take that scene and just do his own voiceover with the Master Ugwe impression and just say some silly stuff. And this was actually working for a really, really long time and he would only post that just the same scene over and over, just with different voiceovers. And then one day it started to die off a little bit and he thought to himself, well, what can I do now? What can I do next to get lots of views? I know. Let me just say the N-word. But it wasn't just the N-word. There were many other videos that he was posting, which were just basically clickbait. You click on them and it wasn't actually what the title says. So let's take a look at some of the videos he actually posted. My opinion on the LGBTQ community. I mean, you may as well have just watched it on mute because there was absolutely no substance to the video whatsoever. I mean, obviously he's going for that edgy satire kind of look, but it's not a great look, I'll be honest with you, because there's other ways to be edgy, there's other ways to be satire. If you don't click on this video, you are gay. <gasps> oh god, I misclicked! <laughs> but apparently whoever didn't click that video is now gay, which... I can't imagine being anything worse. That's a joke, by the way. That's <laughs> a joke, obviously. And then he posted some other videos like, if you click this video, you're a racist. Well, looks like I won't be clicking that video then, because I am not a racist. This video lasts eight seconds. Can I resist being homophobic? If you click on this video, you like Adolf Hitler. My opinion on black people. My opinion on transgender people. Should women be allowed to have an opinion? If you don't on-click this video, you like little kids. If you don't click on this video, you like men. I mean, I'm not gonna click on the video and it's not because I like men, it's because I don't need a video to confirm my own sexuality for me. But I know there's a bunch of 14 year olds right now just panic clicking this video and they buy into all that nonsense. Not because there's anything wrong with being gay, but it's just like those threads back in the day on Facebook. The boogeyman will appear in your room tonight and suck you off if you don't share this video. <laughs> I never did share that video. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys get the idea of what this guy's going for. He's literally just clickbaiting titles to try and get views, which all also, you know, in return gets him money. But it's kind of sad that he's decided to go down this path with this kind of content just because his master Uguay shots wasn't working anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, there are millions of ideas that he could have come up with for his next style of content and this is what he settled on. My opinion on disabled people. And he's just in the f 
fucking thumbnail topless with a snapback on. <laughs> I mean, is it even reasonable to have an opinion on disabled people and what would it even be? Now, you know those people in wheelchairs, yeah? They really fucking piss me off. You know, all they do is sit on their ass all day. They do fuck all. And I'm starting to have enough of it. But his next greatest idea, ladies and gentlemen, to just wow everybody, you know, the wow factor, was to release a music video titled Adolf Hitler is my n-word. Is he really? Sure the bloke's dead, isn't he? How, how can he be your n-word? He's dead. And in that one, he actually does say the n-word. And look, he wasn't saying the n-word in a hateful or malicious way, but still, I get, you know, edgy humour and all that, but still, you wouldn't really catch me coming on camera and saying the n-word. Actually, you know what? I am gonna say it. Noodle knocker. I just master Uruguay dude. But you know, that wasn't the first time he said in that music video either. I know he's uploaded a few other videos saying that he's gonna say the N-word, like saying the N-word like 1500 times or whatever, but he never said it. But in one video he actually did, and it was his latest N-word video. <laughs> Why is that even a phrase? Latest N-word video, okay. Yeah, it was from a month ago and it said saying the actual N-word. And in that video, he said the word and he seemed pretty proud of it. Like, he had this big grin on his face after he said it, like he just accomplished a milestone. Yeah, goal accomplished. Say the N-word. Boom, I can take that off my bucket list. <laughs> but shortly after that, ladies and gentlemen, his uh, music video was removed from the platform. And he seemed to complain about it. Like, he was actually confused why it was removed. It's over, guys. After four years of making dark humor content, I'm officially getting cancelled. Oh, is that his TikTok account? It appears his TikTok account was banned also. His YouTube channel hasn't been yet, but his TikTok account is gone. Someone said to them, you're genuinely embarrassing. The only way you can get views is by shock. So? Why is that a shame to make content that works? It's like saying the only way you can get views is by being funny, loser. Look, Master Uruguay, you know, he can post what he wants. Everyone's free to post what they want. The question is whether it's ethical, whether it's morally correct to post the kind of content he posts. And again, in his eyes, saying the N-word and saying the N-word in his song and talking about Adolf Hitler being his N-word is probably dark humor in his eyes. I don't find it very funny. It doesn't really make me chuckle whatsoever. And then he came out on Twitter and said, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm getting spam reported on my channel and now have over five community guideline strikes in one hour. Need some help here or my account gets permanently banned at Team U2. Like, is he really surprised? I mean, you literally posted a music video titled Adolf Hitler is my N-word. How many times I gotta say it? Welp, that's it. My YouTube account with 7 mil subs and 500 mil views a month is gone soon because of a group of people spam reporting me to rack up guideline strikes. So this is how you treat your creators after they've given four years to grow on your platform. And then there's a screenshot of Team YouTube saying that apparently his video will not be in reinstated. I'm guessing that's the uh, the Adolf Hitler music video, which I'm not surprised it's not being reinstated. I mean, are you? Are you surprised? I'm gonna double down on walkism and make an even crazier song than I did before, so I can hear you sad little haters cry again. POV, your master Uguay coming up with a new idea for his new controversial music video. <laughs> So what can I come up with? Something dark, something edgy, something that's gonna piss a few people off. Oh, I got it. Oh, 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 oh my god, a diss track on disabled people. That is so edgy and dark. Oh, yeah, that I'm sure is what goes through his mind. What can he think of that's the most controversial that can be labelled as dark humour? All you haters are sad. You're just making me more motivated to make more quality content. Oops, sorry. I added the quality bit in there by accident. Love to all my black homies that understood it was a joke. I saw you guys making shots with the videos. Made me die from laughing, love fat. People that truly got offended are under 16 and are snowflakes. Actually, my friend, I think it's the other way around. I think everybody lo loved your video was probably under 16. Uh, only children will find your kind of humor funny. Uh, I don't really find the N-word that funny, to be honest. Uh, it's definitely not, you know, the forefront of comedy for me. And then he tags YouTube again and says, Hey YouTube, this is proof I'm not racist. And I do not condone hate speech. It's a picture with a black dude. Hey guys, I, I'm not racist, I've got black friends. In fact, my bus driver was black. It's just a stupid cop out, isn't it? I mean, what is he trying to show you? He's even tagging YouTube as well. Don't think he's really making his case any better, to be honest. He said, if this man can shave his damn soul and show his ball sack to little kids on YouTube, I should be allowed to make a stupid song with obvious satiric slurs at Team YouTube. Removing butt hairs using 
Nair cream. A visual guide. Ugh, a visual guide of some dude's hairy ass crack. I don't want to see that. I mean, surely this stuff should not be allowed on YouTube. Lubricating my cat's ass. How I do it and why. Fondled an old man's balls for $75. I miss his balls. Wow, you get that much money? Just for fondling an old man's ball sack? Get $75, did you say? Wow. That's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of money, that is. Wow. But guys, I think it's worth mentioning that Master Ugwe, I do believe, is just playing a character. I don't actually believe he's actually racist, and I also don't believe that he's, like, homophobic or transphobic or anything like that. I just think he's playing a character and running it off as extremely satire and dark humor. But that's what I'm saying. Just because it's satire, does that mean it's morally correct to do? The thing is, the videos he's posting is actually working as well. Like, they're getting a lot of views. So one could argue that he's somewhat of a genius. A very strange, out-of-touch genius. The kind of geniuses that eventually end up crazy. I mean, his whole blueprint is just clickbaiting videos just to rustle some feathers so eventually you'll click on it to find out what he has to say and then it's usually nothing. He's just using touchy subjects to get lots of views. And he even released a video recently titled My Apology for Falling Off. And in that video, he basically just goes on to say how his videos are mostly based around satire, humor, and dark humor, which I didn't realize saying the N-word was such a humorous thing. And the top comment of this video is, Bro fell off so hard he started to idolize a war criminal. Guys, it has come to my attention that a lot of people are making videos about me saying that uh, I'm ruining YouTube, I have fallen off, I'm not funny, and that I'm just ruining everything. And I want to apologize for absolutely not giving a fuck. And obviously he's saying it in a sarcastic way, being like he's sorry for ruining everything, but what I don't think he realizes is he could potentially ruin everything for all of us. Like he could literally cause the next adpocalypse and we would just have no money on YouTube anymore. YouTube advertisers is not gonna wanna put their ads on this kind of content. And before we know it, we'll have the ultimate demonetized logo. Because of the content he's posting and he's got such a lad platform, there's a very high chance that YouTube would literally not allow you to monetize any video without it being checked first. And that would be a nightmare, let me tell you. You wouldn't see videos very often from me. So yes, in essence, you could potentially ruin everything for all of us. Just like PewDiePie did in 2016. Do you remember that? The point these people are criticizing me about is my racist jokes. Yes, I make dark humor jokes that I think is funny. I love to do them because I think they're funny. And since I'm getting a lot of views, a lot of people think they're funny as well. Now, in no way am I racist myself. I don't dislike any race. I don't hate any race. I love all of them. Just because I'm making messed up jokes doesn't mean I'm racist myself. I even make fun of my own culture. Now, 90% of these jokes, I don't say anything racist or anything really bad directly. I make you think it. So am I the person with the problem or are you? Then he says that he doesn't say anything racist directly or anything bad. He makes us think it. Damn, did I imagine him saying the N-word? Was this just all him making me think he said it? Wow, yeah, he's just really gaslit me there. <laughs> Dude, you said the N-word several times. You called a war criminal your N-word. You didn't make us think that, man. You said it. Besides, YouTube community guidelines are very strict. If you do something bad, they literally remove your video instantly. But I adhere to the community guidelines and I stay on the line of being too edgy and being normal. Trust me, if I would do anything so controversial that would break the community guidelines, I would be punished instantly. There's not any YouTuber privilege that I have. I don't have a contact at YouTube. Um, yeah, I would instantly be punished. Well, yes, then, because you just contradicted your own point because YouTube removed your music video about Adolf Hitler. So clearly, you do not adhere to the community guidelines. <laughs> and yeah, he says, you know, he's playing a character. He's not actually racist. I do believe him, to be honest. I don't think he actually is because it's clear that he is just doing it for views. You know, he's just trying to get a reaction. But like I said already, that isn't exactly the point we should be focusing on. Yes, I make jokes. Yes, I'm quite unhinged, but I would never go this far. And I think there's a very fine line between dark humor and just being an absolute idiot. And this guy has crossed it. 
by a mile. And, I, and again, I don't believe he has actual any hate towards any race, but the character he plays uses racial slurs, and I'm sure the character is just an extension of him. Just the same way I play a character on this channel is just an extension of who I actually am. I am just an unhinged person. And honestly, though, it's just distasteful content, and the sad thing about it is it's working, and he can just keep posting videos like this, and people are gonna click on it, because again, it's clickbait. They wanna see what kind of, you know, context the video is in, but... Like we saw earlier, it's just music with him talking. Unless, of course, you're referring to the video where he does actually say the N-word. I mean, yeah, that's not clickbait. He does say it, so. Comment down below what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think about Master Rugway. What, what do you think he should do about this? Do you think he should carry on? I mean, whoever says he should carry on is pretty insane, to be honest. But yeah, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel so we can reach 100k. Check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll like these. They're pretty funny. And uh, with that said, I'll see you all in the next one.